What's up and welcome to One Take. I'm Gil and today I want to talk about some rumors that have started just a few days ago about a potential season four for Twin Peaks. Before we dive into it, I want to warn you that there may be spoilers for Twin Peaks seasons one through three in this video. It's hard to believe that season three of Twin Peaks, which aired 25 years after the original two seasons, hard to believe that it's already been over two years since that season three aired. I am one of the people that loved The Return, season three when it aired. I thought that whole season was a masterpiece. There were definitely moments in it which tried my patience, I think intentionally by, by David Lynch. And Mark Frost and David Lynch very clearly held back, and I won't spoil anything here, but they very clearly knew what we wanted as an audience, and they played with that. They gave us some of it, and some key aspects that we were looking for and we were craving, they intentionally held back and gave us very little of it. And I can understand doing that for creative, artistic reasons, but at the end of the day, I really wanted those things. And saying all that to say that I loved season three, and ever since it ended, I have been very interested to see if David Lynch would continue this story in some form. And if you believe rumors that have cropped up a few days ago, the answer is maybe. But let's look at those rumors. So it all started September 27th, just a few days ago, when a Twitter account, Hollywood Horror Museum, tweeted the following. Someone we know who is in the know just let something very interesting slip about the future of Twin Peaks. If it's true, we'll be squealing and giddy in 2020. Now, a lot of people tweeted back at them, trying to speculate, what could this be about? Of course, the first place everyone's mind goes is, are they making more Twin Peaks? So Hollywood Horror Museum tweeted a few more things. They say, we don't want to get anyone in trouble for being stupid enough to tell us, so we can't say any more until they do. But this isn't just a rumor. All we can say is, the people in charge are preparing for something big in 2020. Until the people who have a right to say more do, we have to stay silent. They go on to tweet a few other things, essentially similar versions of what they already said. You know, trust us, something big is coming. You know we have those connections. No, we can't tell you any more than that. But shortly after those tweets, another website picked up the story and gave us a little more detail. WeGotThisCovered.com came out with an article titled, Showtime looking to bring Twin Peaks back for another season. So they flat out have said it. There are talks of a season four, supposedly. Now going into a little more detail, in the article, they say that they're getting these from sources. And to try and lend some credibility to those sources, they tell us that these are the same sources who told this website that Ewan McGregor was returning as Obi-Wan. That rumor turned out to be true. It's the same sources that told them that the leads of Ghostbusters 3 would be young teens. Apparently, these sources have brought two rumors to this website which have turned out to be true. They don't tell us how many rumors those same sources brought to this website that didn't turn out to be true, but even if we take it at face value that these rumors are true, what exactly do these sources say is happening here? And this is where things get a little bit frustrating because it's like a game of telephone. Somebody will report something and then it spirals and goes throughout the internet. And I read articles today which say, rumors have it, Showtime and David Lynch are having talks to return Twin Peaks for another season. But that's not exactly what this article claims. If you take a close look, what it actually says, according to our sources, Showtime is looking to bring Agent Cooper and the cult classic horror drama Twin Peaks for at least one more season. Of course, it's expected that David Lynch would return to helm the project as well, along with the majority of the main cast. It says Showtime is looking to bring Twin Peaks back. It doesn't actually say that David Lynch has been involved in these talks. In fact, it mentions David Lynch, but says it's expected. But my question is, it's expected by who? Is it just expected by this website? 
And that's fair to say, if you told me that there are talks of bringing Twin Peaks back, I would definitely expect David Lynch to be involved. But the fact of the matter is, if you look back at the last couple of years, you can find plenty of articles, plenty of quotes from Showtime executives who comment on Twin Peaks and say they want to bring it back. Or if David Lynch wants to bring it back, the door's open. So that's why I find this whole rumor to be somewhat frustrating, because I am the kind of person who desperately wants this to happen. So if there's a rumor, I'm going to latch on to it. So I find it frustrating because Showtime has already said they want to bring Twin Peaks back, and it sort of feels like this article is more of the same. Uh, In reality, I bet that something is going on. Maybe Showtime has said in the past they want to bring Twin Peaks back, but maybe now they're attempting to actually make it happen. Maybe they're reaching out to David Lynch. Maybe some talks are going on, but that's not exactly what this website says. Now, I don't want to sound like a total wet blanket. There is a rumor here, right? It's not, it's not necessarily nothing. And on top of that article and the other tweets we talked about, there have been a few other little things going on, which hint at something going on in the Twin Peaks world. You had Michael Horse, the actor who played Deputy Hawk, tweeted a picture of Andy shushing Deputy Hawk. What's he telling him to be quiet about? Could he be telling him not to give away that there's going to be another Twin Peaks? And David Lynch himself actually tweeted, Dear Twitter friends, and you, when you read a David Lynch tweet, you kind of have to do it in your best David Lynch impression. Dear Twitter friends, I love the people in King County. I love the locations in King County. We had a perfect place to shoot Twin Peaks and perfect people to work with. Both Dow Constantine and Kate Becker are great. All in all, it made shooting Twin Peaks there a dream. That was September 8th, 2019. So seemingly out of the blue, David Lynch tweets something about how great it was to shoot Twin Peaks in King County. Was it just a random tweet? Was it connected to the other rumors? And there were a few other tweets from Kyle MacLachlan and others involved in the show similarly hinting at or just mentioning Twin Peaks. So between Hollywood Horror Museum's tweets, between We Got This Covered's article, between all those and these other tweets from David Lynch, Kyle MacLachlan, etc., there's a rumor out there. And I won't lie and say I'm not excited, but I am trying to have a healthy amount of skepticism because I've been let down before. There was an anime that aired on Netflix, which I was a big fan of, called Devil Man Crybaby. I loved the one season that aired, and I was curious to see, are they going to make more of this? And then the creator of the show and others said, there's a big announcement coming at this upcoming event. And all week I waited. I couldn't wait to see what that announcement was going to be. They had, they had to be making more. Maybe it was just a one-off, maybe another season. And the big announcement turned out that a car, the main character drove in the series, which I didn't even remember anything special about this car. They made an actual car. Like you could go and physically see this car and I guess ride around in it. So maybe David Lynch and everyone else is hinting that pretty soon you'll be able to get behind the wheel of a Twin Peaks automobile. Anyway, I don't want to end on a totally pessimistic note. The fact of the matter is David Lynch and Mark Frost, the co-creators of Twin Peaks, have not ruled out a season four. In fact, a year ago, David Lynch actually hinted at potentially having more stories to tell. At an event, someone in the audience asked David Lynch, where is Carrie Page right now? David Lynch replied, no idea. The audience member asked, is she waiting for you to get back to her? David Lynch replied, I say it's calling but the signal has a lot of disturbances. And if you don't remember, Carrie Page is the character that Laura Palmer essentially became in the last moments of the Twin Peaks series. So it seems that he has ideas. He hasn't ruled it out. Some rumors are cropping up. I would say try not to get too excited. I'm trying not to, but we'll keep an eye on it and we'll see where this all goes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the little bell icon to make sure you get notifications 
whenever we release more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.